cheats in Populous the Beginning are simplistic and easy to use. You have the normal cheats, which are accessible via the F or function keys, and you have a couple that are amongst the console commands or debug mode. First, you have to enable cheats, and this is achieved by holding tab and pressing F11, typing BYRNE in the box and pressing enter. It's actually pronounced burn, by the way, folks. It's not pronounced Byron, like 10 year old me pronounced it. It's actually a surname, likely belonging to this guy. With cheats enabled, the maximum game speed increases from 5 to 33. By holding shift and pressing plus, you can increase the game speed, and you can press minus to decrease it. You can now also press F10 to remove the UI and F11 to start the rolling demo. The F cheats are used by holding tab and selecting F1, F2, F3, F4 or F5. F1 gives you a burst of mana. This is useful for quickly training troops as you can keep pressing it whilst followers are entering training huts. F2, as far as I'm aware, allows you to see invisible units. I don't know what else it does. It doesn't even do that, guys. I thought it unlocks spells that were question marks on a level, but that doesn't work. And the wiki said it reveals invisible units, but that doesn't work either, so I have no idea what free spells does. F3 unlocks all the spells and lets you charge any spell you wish, excluding guest spells. F4 unlocks all buildings and lets you construct buildings that you wouldn't normally have on a level. And F5 fully charges all of your spells. This is the most popular cheat because you can cast endless spells whilst pressing tab and F5. Accessing the console commands or the debug mode is done by holding O on your keyboard. You can cycle up and down with the arrow keys and change settings from a yes to an O or vice versa with the left and right arrow keys. It isn't very responsive, so sometimes you have to hit the arrow key a few times to change a setting. There are 72 options here, and most will affect your graphics, UI, or just brick your game. The two I'd like to bring your attention to are number 48 and 66. Number 48 allows you to turn Fog of War on or off during the game. It could be considered a gimmick by turning Fog on, but it's certainly a cheat if you turn Fog off on level 9 and 18. Number 66 is the one you're going to love the most. Turn on human shaman omnipresence to instantly make your shaman ascend to godhood. Your shaman will disappear and you'll be able to cast spells anywhere in the world in the same manner as you can on level 25. Combining F5 with human shaman omnipresence would allow you to wreak havoc at an unprecedented level. Using tab and F3 whilst playing via the multiverse launcher would unlock all three guest spells. These can be cycled through by holding shift and left clicking the guest spell icon. You can also activate certain chaotic effects and modes if you know any of the easter eggs implemented by the launch's creator. Instead of typing burn, you could type bacon to spawn health replenishing bacon throughout the world. Or you could type boats to rain death and destruction on a nautical level. If you really like getting creative from popular at the beginning, you could activate developer mode within the multiverse launcher settings and gain access to a plethora of godly controls.